this is Ebony. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. Once you got the other four in, it makes it a lot easier because it doesn't wobble at all. The unfortunate part is you add them one by one. Because you can't really add them anyway otherwise or they're going to fall out. But as you can see now you can really work on them. So that should speed it up just a little bit. Okay. So now that I showed you how I go about it, I'm pretty sure other people have a better way to do it, but that's how I go about it. I'm going to just go ahead and add the other ones. Keep in mind that two is going to go right where the IC socket is going. So it's actually going to be put in. Okay. Like so. Let me make sure I got the right one. Like that. And then you're going to solder it, of course. And then the IC socket is going to sit on top of it. So you want to make sure to solder that first. Because once you get this socket in, you're not going to be able to really solder it. So that's why we're doing these first. So I'm going to go ahead. We got what? One, two, three, four, five soldered in. We have... <laughs> there's many more to go so I will be right back when I get them all soldered in and just take your time when you get done you should have something that looks like this okay you want it to solder your pins on to each of those four little sections is showing. Okay. Now that we have that soldered, we could go ahead and solder on our other components. One, two, three. So let's go ahead and solder on our sockets. So remember we want the half circle to go on where you see the half circle on the IC. That's how your IC is also going to fit. So use your fingers. Let me get this turned back on. Use your fingers to hold it on while you flip it over. Now you would think this would be a little bit easier than the other ones because you have all your pants right there. So what you want to do is you want to find something because as you can see it's kind of moving you want to find something that's gonna kind of hold it there for you okay those plies are gonna do nicely So once you have everything set up, you want to go ahead and solder it. And let's move this over a little bit. Okay. 
and let's bring it in a little bit. The way I always do it is outside of one side of each pen. So it'll be this one and this one and this one and this one. That way it'll hold it in pretty well. So you just want to heat up your lead and apply your solder. It don't take very long. That didn't take enough solder. So... That's the first one. That's the second one. Oops. Third one. And then this should be the So I'm going to inspect my work here. And as you can see, it's on pretty good. Now I could go ahead and do the other ones. Just make sure to heat up your lead. Then apply your solder. And your solder should go into the joint. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest off camera so that I can really concentrate on it. So now I got the sockets all soldered in. So the next thing that we're going to bring in is the resistors. So gathering up my resistors. Remember they go on these little slides here. You don't have to worry about polarity. Remember we got four here. So like I said, you don't have to worry about polarity with resistors okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm making sure it's pushed in close to the board and I'm from underneath bending the leads close to the circuit board that way it'll hold it in for when I'm soldering them And I'm bending them this way so they won't interfere with the other ones. Everybody had their own style of soldering. So what's ever comfortable for you. And by bending them, it holds them in while you're actually soldering them. Okay. So it'll be like that. If you can get it to stop wobbling. I 
I could use the helping hands right now. And you just heat up the lead, apply the side. Clean off my tip. Heat up the lead, apply the side. Oops. Heat up the lead, apply the side. Okay. Okay, inspect your job. Now I'm going to bend them up because they're going to be clipped off. And I always say these leads for maybe another project where you want to collect other electronic components. So I'm just going to take my side cutters and snip off the leads. You don't want to snip them so close to the solder where you break the solder, but you want to snip it pretty close. Okay, so we got our resistors done. Okay, I hope you're noticing the halves coming together now. So the next thing we want to do is our headers and we'll pretty much have this part done. So we had one side where we had the eight headers. Okay. And this is how it's gonna fit into our Uno. And then the one side where it was six. Now if I could get this turnover like this, it'd be nice. So I'm just getting a grip on the black part and just send it down. And there you go. Don't put too much pressure when you're moving it around. I'm Ebony Geek and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.